Welcome back to this video, which is part of a series of videos on the Nibosh sample for NG2, the practical project. And we are looking at this sample, which is good enough to pass. And we're trying to figure out what Nibosh have done, which makes it good enough to pass. The idea being that you can not copy it, not cheat, but you can do what Nibosh have done. <laughs> Here we're going to take a look at the methodology, which is part of the background. So we've already covered the background, the description of the organization. Now we're going to cover this bit here. And this is where we see our first bullet points. Look at these, right, these. Now I've said in another video, do what the bloody bullet points say. It's as simple as that. Very, very simple. So we need to do all of this. So it says sources of information consulted. Well, if you go back to your course materials, we have a section in there where it talks about the internal and external sources of information. That's in the risk assessment section. You have to consult internal sources and external sources. And so let's look at this. It starts off with some external sources. It says, I started by looking up references to good practice relating to our organization. This is a garage, remember? This is the this motor vehicle garage. And they found HSG 261, which is health and safety in motor vehicle repair and associated industries. So, if you're a student of mine, I gave you some exercises. Get your fat ass over there, front pile. Uh, in the course to find some relevant guidance. And this is where you should use it. Like, mention it. Here, here I've, I've looked at this guidance, which applies to us. That's the external sources. Now we're going to do the internal sources. It says here, I went around the workshop, talked to the people who were doing the job. And what did they say? Well, they gave me information that was not just obvious from a visual inspection. For example, a lot of the workers did not know that there were dust masks available or the reasons why these should be worn. Okay. And then we check the accident book, another source of information. See what types of incidents have occurred in the last 12 months, whether they were reoccurring, and also checks the reasons for sickness absence to see if there are any recurring themes. Okay. Back to the bullet points. We have now got the sources of information. Keep getting some battery issues here for some reason. It's not charging. I know why we're not charging. Would anyone be so kind as to plug me in? <laughs> Thank you. I'm an expert, didn't you know? So back to the bullet points. We have now covered sources of information. We've covered internal and external, both the guidance, the people, the accident records, your health records. And we've also talked about who you spoke to, which is the second bullet point. We spoke to the people doing the job. So anyone you speak to, mention that. Now the next bit is the bit which most people make a complete hash of. How are you identified? Two things, no, three things. Oh, bloody hell, I didn't miss one there. Three things, the hazards, what is already done, and what additional controls you need to do. Now, most people mess it up because they just say, I checked this guidance document. Like, yeah, okay, you check the guidance document, but what did you do with that? Well, we have to identify hazards, existing controls, and additional controls. And so let's see what it says here. Now, we've already kind of covered the hazards in the previous discussion, but it says, when assessing the control measures, I referred to this code of practice. Ah, so the bullet point says what has already been done and the additional controls. And so what does a student do? What does Nibosh do? When assessing the control measures, I also, that's what we need to put, don't we? We need to put something like that. To decide on the further control measures, when I assessed the control measures, I identified the existing measures by referring to this guidance document, and then I realized that there are some other things that we should be doing as well. Thank you, guidance document. That's the kind of thing you need to say in that methodology. Right, so, hope that was useful. I'll see you in the next one, which is all about risk assessment.